What's going on you guys? So this video is going to be about Matt Mendenhall, who, if you guys don't know, was a legendary bodybuilder from the 1980s who a lot of people considered to be the greatest bodybuilder to never earn his pro card. A lot of people consider him also to be an uncrowned Mr. Olympia champion. And furthermore, for me personally, Matt Mendenhall is from Cincinnati, which is where I'm from. He's a bit of a hometown bodybuilding hero. He actually trained at the gym that I started training at, World Gym Cincinnati, and actually is a former Mr. Cincinnati, Mr. Ohio, Teenage Mr. Metropolitan, which is an Ohio show, and also Teenage Mr. Ohio. But more notably, were his NPC Nationals in NPC USA appearances. He competed at the NPC Nationals a total of seven times, on three occasions of those seven placing second place. Had he won the Nationals, he would have earned his pro card. Three-time runner-up. Came very close. One of those runner-ups was the Mr. Lee Haney. Matt was a bodybuilding prodigy. Now, the cause of death remains unclear. He was 60 one years old so still relatively pretty young and with all the bodybuilder passings that we've had recently just another unfortunate situation stacked on top of that but I would ask you guys don't make any assumptions or negative comments about his passing because we really don't know what happened so I figured a cool thing to do for this video would be to dig into the Nick Strength and Power vault a little bit and bring back one of the old videos that I had done on Matt Mendenhall maybe four or five years ago. One of those old bodybuilding history videos. So I'm going to roll that for you guys here. Leave a comment in the comment section below about maybe, not necessarily a memory, but something, you know, a way that Matt Mendenhall maybe inspired you. Maybe something you remember about Matt. Um, but yeah, I think that would be cool. Now, you guys seem to enjoy the videos about the bodybuilders who didn't make it to the IFBB or never turned pro. I um, mean, Matt is one of those guys. He was a big-name bodybuilder from the late 70s, and mostly in the 80s was where he was uh, most well-known. But the reason I'm a big fan of him is because I think he looks a lot like my dad <laughs> and the fact that he's from the same area that I'm from. He was born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I was born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. And that fact, uh, coupled with the fact that I think he looks like my dad, made me a pretty big fan of him early on. So here's a photo of my dad. This is no bullshit. This is actually my dad. Um, I think they do have similar physiques, although I know my dad wasn't nearly as big as Matt Mendenhall, but they definitely had the same hairstyle, and they had pretty similar physiques, and they both uh, competed around the same time, actually. Um, so Matt Mendenhall actually competed in the 1981 Mr. Cincinnati. Um which is the same competition that my friend Zach competed in this past year. So this competition is still around. Um, a bunch of local guys still do it. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool that he actually competed in that same show that I helped my friend uh, prep for. He also competed in the Buckeye Open, the Mr. Ohio, um, Mr. Ohio High School Championships, Mr. Metropolitan. And actually, these are the same shows that my dad competed in in the 80s as well. He did the Mr. Metropolitan. He did the Mr. Cincinnati. He did a lot of these shows that Matt Mendenhall also did. So Matt Mendenhall was a big deal in the 80s. He actually placed second um, to Lee Haney, and he was only one point behind Lee Haney at that competition. He competed in the Nationals, it looks like, about seven times, and he never won. He competed in the USA's and the IFBB World Games in 1985. Uh, but there were a lot of contributing factors to why Matt Mendenhall wasn't successful. Um, he had a lot of injuries. He had a lot of illnesses. He was in a car crash. Um, but if we look at his retirement, uh, he was thinking about making a comeback in the 1990s. Um, but he ended up making his last appearance on stage at 1991 at the Nationals. He got fifth place at the age of 31. That was his last appearance on stage. So Matt left the industry. Even though he never turned pro, he was widely considered to be a legend. Uh, a lot of people had a lot of respect for Matt, um, and they really, uh, they really looked at him the same way they would look at a pro. I mean, he inspired a lot of people. He was on, mag he was on magazine covers. He did, you know, training videos and articles and all that stuff in the magazines. Um, 
he's still alive and well today and he's actually still in pretty damn good shape um the last photo uh, actually i don't have a photo of it but he, he is pretty he is in pretty good shape still today i believe he's in his late 50s if not 60s um but matt was he was just a legend man i wanted to share you know some photos of him with you because he really didn't get the recognition he deserved because he never did turn pro and he obviously was a guy who really wanted it you could tell he really wanted to turn pro by the sheer number of times that he competed in the nationals